Why did they cancel the Amphipolis Bone Analysis Survey? What are they hiding from us and who is hiding this? We know that various skeletons were found in this tumulus in northern Greece from the time of Alexander the Great, 300 and some odd BC. And uh, these uh, skeletons were taken to be examined. The obsession of the Secretary General of the Ministry of Culture, Maria Vlazaki, proves to be enormous, who claims that the ancient monuments in the Casta tomb of Amphipolis is not a creation of the ancient Macedonians, but of the Romans. I mean, that is ridiculous, but anyway. The ardent supporter of the Roman creation of the Macedonian monument in Casta, who in her opinion wanted to pass as a uh, slaughterhouse in the current administration of the Ministry of Culture, once again reveals to everyone that her moods and consequently the actions not only are they not friendly towards the great discovery of this tumulus, this tomb in Amphipolis, but on the contrary, it turns out against it. So who is she serving? What's behind all this? The references to names may have been pro prohibitive. However, according to one of the scenarios studied by the ministry, the findings were photographed by Olympias Ephestion and the two sons of Cassandra. The, dis the desperate efforts of the Secretary General of the Ministry of Culture to pass her opinion during huge, huge responsibilities as well as the Minister of Culture in terms of the analysis of the bones found, the skeletons found in the tomb of Amphipolis. I kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. And this is an aerial view of it. And uh, right underneath there on the 7 o'clock position, you have an inlet as to where the tomb would have been found. Let's remember that we found a sphinx. This, this tumulus is found um, about 600 some odd meters from a, a huge pyramid in the area. And that was the same location, orientation, and distance from the Egyptian pyramid uh, of Cheops, the Great Pyramid of Egypt, uh, the distance between that apex and the Sphinx in Egypt. That's the same exact measurements found here. Very strange. But anyway, going back to this, since uh, 2015, Ms. Vlazaki had at her disposal a program contract of 236,697 euros for the analysis of these 300 skeletons. 300 skeletons found in Amphipolis between them and the Castad during uh, dating from 10, uh, 1000 BC to 200 BC. And not only put it ostentatiously, ostentatiously in the drawer, but systematically defends both her, she and her political superiors as revealed by the um, secret truth, uh, real truth blog. Now, the reliable journalist George Rodakoglu specifically points out that the program contract of this research project has already been signed by General Manager of Antiquities Elena Korka and General Manager of Finance George Leontas, proof that the money had been secured for the previous study. It should be noted that the contract was signed August, uh, sorry, January 13, 2015, and when Lina Mendoni was still at the helm of the General Secretariat Ministry of Culture, while the investigation lasted for two years, but we reached its end June 30th, 2017, without the slightest thing being done. What happened with the study of these uh, skeletons? Former Minister of Culture Nikos Xidaikis, when he visited Amphipolis in 2015, referred to the start of the research program, but his statements ultimately did not follow any additional action. Xidakis was uh, succeeded by Aristides Baltas, and now in the same political position as artist Lydia Cognoru. So on the issue, though, all of them have observed and continue to observe silent fish. In other words, nothing has been done. The aim of the project was the presentation and in-depth investigation of the biological parameters that can be observed in skeletal and dental remains 
in relation to archaeological data as they are reflected in the burial ritual. The scientific research would be documented for the first time in Greece through a combined application of innovative analytical methods to a wide sample of the population of historical times, and the result of the research would add many useful elements in the skeletons of the tomb of Amphipolis, but would also help archaeologists to have a better picture of these burials. The research was assigned to the Aristotle University of Thessaloniki. This is the area of, uh, you know, in northern Greece where this tomb was found, with the scientific assistance of the Department of History, Archaeology, Sevasti Triandafilou, and the Democritus University of Athens. And after contacting the research committee of both universities, it's confirmed that the specific program never even started, although the money was secured. As expected, there are many questions about the motivations that push Lazaiki to take such an attitude. How is it possible, in the face of such a great archaeological discovery that will further promote Greek culture internationally and the ministry itself, to cancel studies that would have proved this? Archaeologists Angeliki Kotaridis and Jenny Veleni, who signed the relevant Roman report in 2015, along with Mrs. Lazaki, are dragging along, as well as the speleologist Evangelos Kamburoglu, who claims that the monument belongs to the first century, not the last quarter of the fourth century BC. A strong paper for the excavation may be the presentation of the stratigraphy of the bones as they were found inside the tomb, as well as the architectural phases of construction of the tomb, the precinct, the presentation of the poly. Uh, Propylion with the sculptures and the stones removed from the walls of Amphipolis. The interest is also focused on the presentation of the marble sculptures that are part of the frieze of the lion's pedestal, elements uh, that the architect Michalis Lefanzi studied and researched in all their details. The speech of the geologist George Chokas is considered to be of crucial importance, which will include a 10 year review of studies and researchers. Researches, researches carried out with uh, their collaborators in relation to archaeological excavations. The opponents of Amphipolis will try once again to argue in favor of the Roman conclusion with the help of the self-appointed anonymous defenders, quote-unquote, of the monument who serve specific interests via the internet. For three years now, their attempts to spread similar views and even threats against the scientists of the excavation as well as to appear as a pole of information abroad will collapse while their role will be revealed within the um, immediate future. So in case he presents the results of electrical tomographies of the Casta tomb the, of the Amphipolis, then these results may be in the form of a requisition to those who still refuse to continue the excavations in Amphipolis. And in the conclusion, it should be noted that the archaeologists of this Greek site, which gave perhaps the greatest historical discovery of the last 40 years, has been without police guard for a long time. Nobody's guarding this, uh, securing this uh, uh, antiquity. So the site of the burial complex may be filmed by a closed circuit television, but nevertheless, the surveillance system in the hands of a cutting hacker can present significant weaknesses, weaknesses and be shut down if we take into account the fact that the guards do not have the right to bear arms, even in the event of an unexpected sudden incident, it would be too late. Uh, so this is not even secured in any way. That's strange because anybody could go in and do whatever they want, take things out of there. Uh, this is uh, translated for you from a Greek article. I don't understand why they are not studying the skeletal remains of what was found in that tomb. Very, very distressing. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support.